Thanks for watching another uh, episode. Uh, this is MT Exotics. You're watching uh, Fangs TV on YouTube. Uh, I'm Tom. Uh, I'm Mike again. All right. So uh, basically, today we want to go over uh, tarantula molting. Um, it's basically when the tarantula sheds its outer skin or exoskeleton and uh, grows. That, that's the point in which your tarantula will be growing, showing new color, stuff like that. Uh, as always, we have our catch cup on hand in case. Uh, Something gets a little crazy here, not. Um, but basically, we'll just go over and talk about uh, the do's and don'ts, uh, tarantula molting, and uh, it's a really exciting time for the tarantula. After it molts, you get to see all these beautiful colors and stuff like that. So what we have here is our. Brachypelma bomai, or Mexican fireleg, um, and they're just going to be our little uh, demonstration here as far as uh, before and after molting. Um, the little guy that we have in here, um, he has not molted yet, but he is getting very close to molting. So as you can see, his abdomen is starting to get enlarged, um, and then there is a slight dark black line just around the perimeter of the abdomen. Um, basically that is the new uh, hairs coming up to the surface. Uh, you can see it underneath of the, uh, the old exoskeleton. Um, this color is a little bit duller, um, but tarantulas will generally be very dull before they molt and then they'll get that nice vibrant brand new uh, skin on them. If you just want to go ahead and move him a little bit. Okay, so what we have here is another Brachypelum bomai. This one had just molted. As you can see, the abdomen is a lot smaller. Um, also, it's got those nice jet black hairs on the abdomen. Uh, it's still a little bit translucent, but all those lighter colors will really perk up oops, sorry there, once, uh, once it starts to harden up a little bit. Uh, anytime your tarantula molts, you're going to want to give it at least um, one week, uh, if not a week and a half, before you resume feeding. Their exoskeletons are very soft. Uh, you don't want to be moving them around. You don't want to be feeding them in case uh, one of the prey items were, were to bite it and harm it. So, like I said, just wait a week or a week and a half after it molts and then resume feeding it. Um, so basically, that is our before and after. Uh, now Mike will show you, uh, we have a Formicubus canceridius or Haitian brown, which is actually molting right now as we speak. Uh, it's pretty exciting. So, really stoked to show that. Yeah. And this is the particular portion of the molt where most uh, beginner tarantula keepers go, oh my, my tarantula is dead, or it's dying. The worst thing that we could do right now is actually flip that tarantula back over onto its feet. Because um, again, this is probably one of the most stressful times for a tarantula is to actually shed its exoskeleton uh, off its uh, new skin that's forming underneath. Um, so when you see your tarantula in the upside down position, we absolutely want to leave it like that. And this process can take hours to, you know, a day for it to actually rip the skin and actually uh, shoot its uh, skin off. And hopefully throughout the day here, we will be uh, keeping updated on this molt so we can actually see the whole process. Um, we can also see that generally they lay kind of a uh, web down for them to lay upside down on, um, which this uh, Canceridius has done. And uh, it looks very lifeless, but that spider is uh, doing exactly what it's supposed to be doing. Yeah, basically uh, a few hours, uh, maybe even a day before, they'll start laying down a molting uh, mat. And you can see as the uh, general overall webbing inside the enclosure isn't really that heavy. It's, it's pretty heavy where he's laying. Basically, they do that just as a, a form of protection. Um, you know, they want to be on top of their web as they molt. Uh, uh, like I said, they're very vulnerable. Uh, some will actually go inside of a hide and seal it off. Uh, so you may not actually see your tarantula, and then in a couple weeks it'll emerge. It'll have this beautiful color, and like I said, it'll be larger. Um, so, like I said, it's a very exciting time uh, as a, for a tarantula keeper when your tarantulas are molting. Excited to see what it looks like, how big it's going to get. Um, so... You can see this guy, he is just chilling out, and it's probably going to take him, I would say, at least a good four, maybe five hours to, uh, at the minimum to, to shed this exoskeleton.
But all right, well, thanks for uh, tuning in and watching us. Make sure that you uh, subscribe and like us.